Hello everyone! My name is Lara Jean. Welcome to the Hair Lab. Today we're going to talk about how I started my own barber studio at 22 years old. Hey, so real quick, I'm sitting here editing this video and I just really have to say that another big reason of why I started my business when I started my business is because like of my mom and because of God. Like I really feel like I need to give that enough credit and I feel like I can't consciously upload this video without making that statement because without the two of them I wouldn't be where I am today um I it's just like it's been a, like it's been a journey for me growing as a person because like gr like running and managing your own business and going to school like those are the life events that happened for in the process of me getting here but the reason for why I am where I am is because of God and my mother. Um, trying to be o obedient as possible. And I do feel like I have the tendency to have like, to be a bit of a procrastinator and a little bit of re rebellious by nature. I won't go into that um, on this video because that's not why you're here. But I just have to give that enough credit. So thank you, God. Thank you, mom. Um, hope I'm making you proud <laughs> um and that's all I have to say for that so as far as in the creator uh community I feel like I also really want to give a big thank you to thank media think media um your videos are so great and I think the consistency in which you put them out in kind of helps convert that person who's like oh I'm the person that's like always sitting in the shadows on videos and I don't really like engage much but it's really crazy just like by leaving a comment or just by like putting yourself out there um and like in t like because you guys are putting yourselves out there so much and the frequency in which you're putting yourself out there I feel more comfortable putting myself out there and there and it might be a difference between a day where you guys have a really great video about how to grow on social and how to grow in media and I'm like okay yeah like I got this like okay let's record tonight like let's glam it's time to do some glam yada 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 and then I don't know you just get in that like place of like on the hamster wheel of oh but I gotta do this oh but I gotta do this oh but I don't have this yet I don't have this yet and then you know just press record like I say that so much to myself and that has become like a like a I want to say mantra but I feel like that's not the word I'm looking for but it's become like one of those things that sticks with you like just press record like even right now I look a mess I just left the gym and I'm about to like I'm at the suites where I work right now um and I'm about to go inside and like set up for the day before I go home and shower but saying that to say just thank you guys thank you for being that voice in the back the back of my head thank you for creating um thank you for creating what's the word like not momentum oh that's gonna be so good I just like blanked out for a second but anyways thank you thank everyone I hope everyone is enjoying the content in this video if you are here for the video um and yeah let's get back to it <laughs> this is my work um and i'm also a marketing consultant on the side i've had a few clients in the massage industry eyelash industry um and then like some other trades that are in the beauty industry education um just various things but so yeah i'm a marketing consultant and a barber I did cosmetology in high school, so that's how I got my license in high school. I did graduate with the highest uh, test scores on my practical and my written. I just slight flex. <laughs> um, so after high school, I graduated. I went to. I started my freshman year of college, and then I got my first job at Supercuts. Um, I know people like talk crap about Supercuts and like sports clips and everywhere that has that type of business structure. But genuinely, I feel like for me at the time, for my path, my journey, everyone's is different. Um, that was the best thing for me because there I learned men, women, kids. Um, and you're, you do cut more so for speed in environments like that. But when you're first starting, that's not the worst thing. Because when you're around people that might take longer, then you will take probably even longer. Especially when people aren't encouraging you to get your time down. 
and i would say i had some amazing managers there i really was like a like a really tight-knit group there i was working with my best friend at the time so it was pretty cool it was a cool place to learn and like that's where i learned how to track my numbers and um to set goals and to crush them and like actually have meetings about doing better and like you know i'm naturally competitive and we had a board with like everyone's like services and how much product people are selling so you know i had to you know do my thing you know but no i'm kidding it's super good i was not making that much money but still, you know, it it was a it was it doesn't really even matter about the money. I'm just saying that as a joke because whenever you're learning skills, sometimes you gotta sacrifice, you know, the money that you're gonna make. They send you to a week long training and then at that training that's when you're learning like one length haircuts, bob haircuts, fade haircuts, even when you get to do like a flat top haircut. And I mean like it it sounds silly but silly but to me i feel like what makes a good barber to me is being universal or trying to be as universal as possible um we're not all perfect and there's going to be things that we all don't feel comfortable doing but for me and what i want to do i want to be able to do cuts and colors and perms and stuff so it fits me so. and i mean i'm always willing to try out new things i haven't really got into designs as much i feel like that's something that like that's like my own like hurdle because i've been asked to do them but and every time i'm asked to do anything really like even if i don't know i'll figure it out um but that's just one thing i don't know we just gotta if you guys have any tips for design for me feel free to leave in the comments or leave your videos in the comments if you have them but yeah so anyways started off with super cuts um started my freshman year went to community college i stayed home i've stayed home all throughout college um and that was great originally i was gonna do nursing um but i don't know something just like the, the first the pandemic happened it was just seeing how nurses were being treated and overworked and burned out and me still knowing in my in the back of my head i guess i've always had like that itch i wanted to have the opportunity to have an uncapped earning potential and see what i could do first um so i did switch my major but sometimes when things happen in the world i feel like it makes you kind of refocus in a way and i wanted to just see what i was capable of and i've loved 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 this industry since i was a little girl like there's pictures of me walking around in diapers with like lipstick and stuff like that and like i love to make people feel good you know so um for me it was really passion over profit when you follow i feel like genuinely when you follow your passions and you do what feels right to you then everything else will come with it so at that point it wasn't like i it was like okay what am i going to be chasing like salary am i going to be chasing numbers or am i going to be chasing passion and then realistically like i mean i'm young i'm 22 years old so if i choose to now that i'm doing my bachelor's i can go back to school for another two years and get my nursing degree and honestly it's kind of like almost it's easier after you already ha um after you already have a bachelor's degree so passion over profit and just really barbering like getting like choosing barbering and like men's hairdressing in particular i always felt like i don't know there's always been like this kind of like itch in me that's always felt like mm, let me try and give you an example when you go into a store in like a unisex store and you see the men's section it's always this tiny little corner you know and like i just feel like when it comes to the world of beauty and like let's just call it beauty um when it comes to the world of beauty i just feel like men are so overlooked and there's so many things that they don't do because they don't know so and i feel like it does make a difference coming from a woman um i feel like being a woman in this industry even though it's like male dominated is a strength because i feel like when i give my i give my opinion to my clients and i'm trying we i do thoroughly consult my clients even ones that i've had forever um and I give them my opinion as well as far as like what I feel like would be best for, you know, like their face shape and, and their lifestyle and stuff like that. And I think that extra attention to detail um, is something about like the way I explained it to my boyfriend was it's for me, it's whenever I see my client come in with their like head low almost and like leaving with their head high. And I really do feel like that's a thing. Like I feel like there's a certain amount of confidence that comes from um, barber, like from not from barbering, but that comes from like the beauty industry. Like 
I feel like we have so much power to like in our hands that we like help our clients feel beautiful because ultimately your hair is the crown that you wear on your head so like I want to make everyone you know wear their crown with pride so I don't know if that explains it but yeah that's why I got into men's hair dressing in particular so September 2020 after I started college I started working at a barber shop um, and I did gain some new skills there because you, the place I worked at, you're more thrown out, like, you know, to fend for yourself because I mean, it's, it's the business. I started cutting hair at 18. So I've always been the youngest one in the room and I've all, but I, at first I started at a place where it was more of like a family structure and they knew we were 18, they knew we were fresh out of high school. So it was like, you know, we're under their wing and that was great for growing, but the next like uh, the, uh, another part of growth is being uncomfortable so that's what happened at the barbershop is that i feel like i got even better even faster because one i feel like i, I felt i felt like i was proving myself at the time because i was the like the youngest one there and then two um you know it's just like it's like being fresh meat and it's just like everybody's and especially in this industry like people want to see what you got so i feel like i have to cope with it <laughs> but anyways and then I worked there from September of 2021 up until March 3rd of 2023. <laughs> I worked there from September of 2021 up until March 3rd of 2022 when I opened up the hair lab. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful.